In this video, we'll use a versatile transformer capable of connecting to the power line system using either a face-to-phase -face or face-to-ground connection. The high voltage rating on the transformer's nameplate reads 12,000 volts slash 20,800 volts. The smaller number, 12,000, is the primary coil voltage rating. Let's determine how this transformer works with two different sets of power line connections. The system voltage on example number one is 12,000 volts. If the system voltage is 12,000 volts and the transformer's primary coil voltage rating is 12,000 volts, connect it phase to phase delta to get the correct voltage. The configuration of the jumpers also shows us this is a phase to phase connection where each bushing connects to the phases. The system voltage on example number two has a phase to ground voltage of 12,000 volts. If the phase to ground voltage matches the primary coil voltage rating, connect phase to ground Y. The configuration of the jumpers also shows us this is a phase to ground connection, where one of the bushings connects to a phase while the other bushing is grounded. On the nameplate, there's a Y next to the system voltage 20,800. This is an indication that if the transformer is installed on a 20,800 volt system, it should be connected Y or phase to ground. If the transformer is connected Y on a 20,800 volt system, 12,000 volts will be impressed on the primary coil. In both cases, the transformer is still connected to 12,000 volts. So, what did we learn? If the transformer's primary coil voltage rating matches the system voltage, connect it phase to phase. If the transformer's primary coil voltage rating matches the phase to ground voltage, connect it phase to ground. Remember to always check your voltage and rotation according to company procedures. Thanks for watching this Northwest Lyman College tutorial. Work safe out there.